Oh, good morning, everyone. Oh, look. I wonder where that leads to. That fence has all been down. There's a path there that goes down there. Look. Let's have a look in this fence first. All this fence is down. People must walk through here quite often. Ah, these are lovely trees, aren't they? God, look at that Christmas tree. That's a Christmas tree, that is. This looks like it leads down to that um, fishing lake that I was looking at yesterday. There's something making a noise over here. I don't know what it is. Water looks a little bit contaminated to me. It's got some oil or something in it. You certainly want one a bit. Oh, that was a big fish there. Jumped up. Must be like a waterfall or something over there, making that noise. Can you hear it? Another little path goes down there. Look. That tree's been uh, falling down. God, there's cobwebs everywhere. <clears throat> there's definitely running water somewhere. I bet you can't see all the cobwebs coming off the trees, can you? Going down to that water. There's cobwebs, loads of them coming off that tree branch. And going down. Pretty cool fungus. Got another little path that goes down here, look. It goes in those conifers. We'll see where that goes in a minute. Pretty cool old tree, isn't it? Anyway, let's go down here. So, yesterday I was looking, was looking at uh, an abandoned football pitch and that. Well, I walked down that other footpath and now we've got ourselves two fishing lakes. Got nice trees, random things stamped in the tree. Not the wind in the willows man there's running water coming in there so I wonder if it feeds from this other pond 
that goes up there look oh looks like there's another path that goes over there might explore that in a bit let's have a look at this other pond over here That's a pretty cool old tree that is, isn't it? Look at that willow tree. That's a really cool willow tree that is. I love willow trees. That one looks like it's falling down over there. Poor thing. But this water doesn't look the best. This water's definitely got crap in it, look at it. You can see on the top, on the surface, oil and other stuff. It's probably quite stagnant. It's got bottles in it. There's probably still fish in here though. There's probably still loads of healthy fish in here. You'll probably be surprised. <laughs> I wanna see if I can go over there. That looks like a cool little place to sit. Somebody's made a makeshift bench over there. Let's have a look. I'd love to have my own pond and that. Oh, look. Ducks. Somebody's thrown something in the water there. Don't know what that is. I'd love to have my own pond. In fact, this, you know, if I had a big garden, I'd have something like this in my garden, just with all these trees, some ponds, nicely overgrown, plenty of wildlife, ducks and whatever. Obviously it'd have to be when the kids grew up because it wouldn't be safe having ponds with the kids because, well it'd be mine, like one of them would fall in there, but... I'd have them clean, clean ponds, so we could have little rowing boats and row around. Oh man, it'd be so cool. Let's go over here. Oh, loads of people must come here quite regularly. At least they bag their rubbish up and put it in bags, look. That's good. At least it's not just flying around. At least they put it in bags. That's good, whoever does that. <coughs> Looks like there used to be some kind of pontoon here. That's a nice view. That's a nice view with the uh, castle in the background, church, tower, from over there. Nice man, very nice. People must uh, come here quite often as well because they've made themselves a little makeshift bench. That's pretty cool. Proper like this, man. This is really good. It's a perfect place, isn't it? Like, if you're, uh, you know, quite young, or even if you're a bit older and you haven't really got too many cares in the world, bring your girlfriend down here, chill out quick shag there sort of thing and just chill out in the peace and quiet you know what a brilliant place to come love it right let's go and explore some more you know all people these days with their fast paced lives you know they don't sort of sit down and relax and don't do things like that you know what you gotta do, you gotta just come to a nice place like this, sit down, chill out and relax. Because if you have your fast paced life all the time, that's when you uh, 
you know, you get a bit burned out sort of thing. Oh, we can't go this way. I was um, going to go around now, but it sort of ends. Looks like we can get to the back of that football pitch from there, but that's where I was yesterday anyway. All right, let's, uh, let's continue down that footpath then and see what's down the footpath if we go that way. This is a really nice place. You just imagine this as your garden. You could have all of this. You could have something in this nice sitting area under these trees. You know, you can walk around things. You've got your ponds and everything. Yeah, man. This is uh, definitely a bit of me. A bit of me. Fantastic little place. All right, let's go back this way the way we came. Then we'll go down that footpath and see what we find. See, I never got to do that kind of thing when me and my wife were uh, just going out before we got married, or even after, before the kids. Never got to just come out and chill out in places like this because, well, she kind of finds it boring. So I never really got to do it. Just come along for a walk, enjoy each other's company, you know? Such a nice thing to do, but we never got to do it. Anyway, Oop, hold on, wrong button, there we go, back through here we go, let's go and have a look, see what's down here then, yeah and so, and now we've got, um, different life altogether you know kids things always busy she doesn't like me so as she keeps saying <laughs> I don't like you I don't like you so you know it's just kind of uh, one of those things that you miss out on chilling out in the countryside this is a lovely path oh, look. A little bit of a path that goes down there. I wonder what that uh, leads to. Let's go further down here. I've got shorts on, you see. So, um, I don't know if I can go down loads of stinging nettles, really. I don't really fancy that, to be honest with you. Too many stinging nettles for me. There's that lovely pond, look. All the way in there. But i tell you what, I'll wear some trousers next time and we'll go further down that footpath to see what's down there but I just don't fancy because I'll be standing there all day long itching my legs I've been there trust me I've been there and done it before uh, I wonder what that's, that's like an old stylist look old style stylist what the hell that's a pen in it using a tablet an old style by the looks of things he never used to walk around this tree he used to walk over the style anyway around this old tree this, I was doing a bit of research actually uh, last night and um, that club over there it was I think it's built around the 60s and there's some videos on YouTube of that club in 1960 when they were playing bowls, tennis, football uh, shooting, clay pigeon shooting, rifles all sorts it was like the um, sort of like a community place. Oh, it looked really good. Anyway, what have we got over here then? So we've got another path there and a path there. Tell you what, if I uh, ever get into enough money, I think I'll buy some fields, just as grass fields like this. And because I love sort of cutting grass and baling it up, with the tractors and everything like that, that'd be great fun. A couple of these fields right out of the way. Perfect for nature, right? Perfect for nature. And then what I can do is I can cut it up when it becomes enough for um, hay and bale it, sell it, make some money for myself and then let it grow again and it becomes a nice natural bit of wildlife for the nature again. 
and then I can bail it up and have some fun at the same time. That's what I'd do, I think. I, I think I'd make hay. You know, I'd love that. I have my own little sort of farm, but for hay, because animals don't really, uh, animals don't really appeal to me at all. Looks like there used to be some animals in here because you've got the trough there. So they used to have sheep or something in this field, and now it's just left. Looks like for, for probably for hay or something, silage, whatever. Oh look, there's that other door to them, a couple of fridges. Them three fridges. <laughs> oh, dog shit everywhere. Lovely. What a fantastic place, you know. There's so many nice places like that around. You know, we just got to walk down a nice little path in the nature and you come across lovely ponds and all kinds of stuff. But people are all too, you know, busy or and lazy these days. People are very, very, very lazy. Cobwebs still all over me, um, but they're lovely places to go. And that's you know, next time I'm going to wear trousers so I can go down that footpath a little bit longer. I just didn't fancy itching on my legs all day long. <laughs> Been there before. Oh, I'll just walk down there. That'll be alright. It's only a few stinging nettles. That'll be alright. All day long there, itching and big pimples like that. Oh, I ain't doing that again. So I wear trousers. And uh, we'll go right down the end of that footpath. As far as I can go before I run out of time. And uh, see what's down there. But that was a lovely little walk. Lovely. Nice little uh, ponds. Anyway, you lot. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to find some more lovely footpaths to walk down. There is loads of them, man. Loads. See you later on. Enjoy life because it is brilliant, all right? No matter what anyone says, life is brilliant. And we live in a wonderful world. You know, the planet is brilliant. There's loads of pe stupid people about, but don't worry about them. You worry about yourself. Unless you're one of the stupid people, then uh, you've got something to worry about, ain't you? But if you ain't a stupid person, just don't worry about the gates, all right? Carry on with life and enjoy it. I'll catch you later on. <laughs>